Good morning. We're having breakfast Saturday morning at our club. Um, getting the car washed while we're eating, and I just wanted to show you. This is not the most exciting breakfast, but look, it came with two yolks. That's kind of good luck. So I'm gonna go eat it now. But I thought you should. I thought it was neat. We did a little shopping trip today to three awesome stores. If you need to accessorize your house and just do the finishing stuff, Home Goods, Kirkland's, and World Market. And we hit a home run, and you can't see everything here, but I'll, I'll do a shot when we get home. But that's the back seat of the car, and then some, and there's stuff under there. So I will show you the haul when we get home. Good morning, it's Sunday, it's 11.37, and this is scandalous. I'm fully dressed and ready to film a couple of videos this week, and then I'm wearing my pajamas. So I should probably get dressed. Um, I'm going, to film a review on the palette I used for my eyes today, and I'm gonna talk all about these, because this is a big buzz, I don't know why, but I will discuss it. Um, but this is the focus of the day, is we're getting ready for the invasion of the relatives and uh, guests for my son's bar mitzvah a couple weekends, and there's something missing in the middle of my family room. The rug is pretty dirty, that it's usually here. Bosley got into some chocolate and decided to eat it, He's fine, but the couch or the rug got a little stained. So we took it outside. It's an outdoor, it's an, actually an indoor outdoor rug. So we took it out on the driveway and scrubbed it down with dishwashing soap and hosed it down. And then we took down the painting that was paintings that were there because we have purchased a new one. My house is a wreck. Still working on starting the centerpieces. Clearly, I've not made much forward momentum there, but. We bought this painting yesterday at Kirkland's. Kind of surprised, I don't normally frequent Kirkland's. The place frankly makes me sneeze. But I think it's just a beautiful painting and it is perfect for my family room. And it's all about the water and the sky, two of my favorite things to look at. And it was $150 on sale. How do you beat that? You really can't. So I'll show you actually, let's come along with me and I will show you the rug no dog you cannot come with me let's see here oh my gosh really they put it on the um i can angle it this way they put it on the grass what were you guys thinking anyway it's really hot out so it's actually almost dry that's crazy wow get it off the grass what were they thinking why Oh well. All right, so it's freakishly hot out here and very sunny and I'm in my pajamas. So I'm going in the house. I'm gonna film a couple of videos and get dressed, probably in that order. Hello, it's Monday morning. Not having the best Monday morning. It's just been one of those typical Monday mornings when nothing goes right, but uh, the only thing that could go, go well is that the doorbell just rang. It was the UPS man and he's deliv he has delivered my latest Sephora order, so I'm gonna unbox this here. And I've got two samples, I don't even remember what I asked for. AHA Moisturizing Therapy, okay. And Kate Somerville Acne Gel, that might be worth trying. I'm really not interested in trying any new skincare. Oh, this one though, I'm kind of curious. This Glam Glow Treatment, I'll save this for when my skin starts getting dry. Okay. Oh, a Sephora fragrance, what? Your journey starts here. Oh yes, I forgot, I got a 250 point bonus. And of course I ordered my latest obsession. This is the Nest Midnight Flora fragrance. Thanks to pretty, shiny, sparkly telling me, telling me, of course, me personally, no, telling all of us on one of her YouTube videos about this. I have the roller ball, I have the life, si life size, I have the normal size, and now I have this little baby one. How cute is that? Love these miniatures, love them. Okay, but the point of this order was for this bad boy. This is the new Stila, let's take it out of the box. This is the new, one of the new Stila windows of the soul or something, eyes of the windows. Let me get it out of the packaging and I'll be right back. And then this is the palette, which I think is magnetic. Yes. Since love grows within you, so beauty grows, for love is the beauty of the soul. Very profound. Okay, first look. 
I don't find these to be dry. I know a couple people mentioned that somebody that I don't watch, um, so I had to go back and look her stuff up, said that they were dry to the touch. She did use the matte palette, so mattes usually do run drier. I'm barely touching. They did not appear to be dry. I'll try a matte one, hang on. You know, sorry guys. Sorry to disappoint, but so far so good. I will say that they are less creamy in texture to the other steel ones, but hopefully that means a little less fallout too. I've had a very stressful week, the week leading up to the bar mitzvah, which is next week, but it's already getting really stressful. And so I am, oh, I'm treating myself to a pedicure on a massage chair, and I just wanted you to see, this is a new place that's not too far from my house. Check this out. Um, strawberry margarita, <laughs> I should turn off the massage chair. This is the color I'm doing, it's Zoya Alley on my toes. And then there's all these options for pedicures, but I'm going for the cucumber pedicure because my heels are in really bad shape. But look at this best, this, this is, oh, hello. And this is what it looks like here. Check out the margarita machine. And then that's the ceiling up here. Good morning, I'm not looking at the camera because I'm driving and I know how that distresses some of you, as it should, that's very unsafe. I am on my way to the local high school because for some insane reason where I completely took leave of my senses, uh, even though I have nothing to do with the PTA anymore, uh, other than you know sending in my check to be a member every year, for some reason I volunteered to help with the PTA audit. Basically we balance the books and make sure that everything is legal as it is. I mean, it's never like we find someone embezzling funds, but it's required by law. It's a nonprofit and, um, and uh, so we do an internal audit every year before the school year starts. And this is round two because we were off by like, I don't know, there was about less than $100 that we couldn't get it to all tally. It's like balancing a giant checkbook. And uh, sometimes it takes a couple tries to line up all the paperwork and figure out where everything went. So anyway, round two, week and a half before my son's bar mitzvah, which is turning into, um, <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. But, uh, oh my gosh, I don't know what we're thinking. Um, we're expecting 200 people, max. And um, I really wasn't expecting that many. I was thinking like maybe 80 kids would show up, which is a huge party by I think any standards. We are at 105 kids that have responded so far. And the, the response cards are still coming in. <laughs> so, ay, ay, ay. Um, adults, I think we're up to 80. So this is gonna be, this is by far has surpassed the size of my wedding. It's all gonna be good, it's all gonna be fun. I'm so excited to be in the same room with so many people that I love, but, uh, and for my son, but it's a little stressful. So, uh, yeah, and on top of that, well, it's just a lot, I'll just leave it at that. It's all good stress, but it's, you know, stress is stress. So I don't know what I'm gonna get to vlog today, if other than this, which is why I'm doing this today, because after this, I'm home for a little bit, and then um, I'd like to film some videos because I don't think I'm gonna have any time to do that next week. And then, um, then later this afternoon, I have to be up at the middle school to help hand out football equipment and parent spirit stuff for the Bar Mitzvah Boys um, football team. That's from four to seven. And then, uh, yeah. So I've got a lot going on, but hopefully, I don't know, there's just, it's a lot. It's two weeks before school, so, you know, in addition to the bar mitzvah and all that stuff, it's just the getting ready for school stuff, which I haven't really done. Um, and all those centerpieces that are supposed to be assembled for the luncheon, yeah, haven't done a one. My best friend's coming over tomorrow and hopefully helping me with that, so maybe we can film that for you. But anyway, I think this is all I'm gonna get to share with you today, so uh, I'll keep you posted. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, generally, I do that a few times a day. So if you're ever wondering what I'm up to, that's the best way to find me. I really do enjoy keeping in touch with all of y'all in whatever electronic form I can. So if you're not on Instagram or Twitter, I highly recommend doing so. It's free, it's easy, and, uh, and it's fun. 
Hey, it's, um, what day is it? Is it Thursday? Oh my God, I'm so Thursday. tired. I'm really tired. It's starting, the stress is getting to me, but my best friend is here and um, she has helped me concoct the first, construct the first of 17, maybe 15, we'll see. Uh, school supply cake, centerpieces. I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of us. This looks so good. Um, so yeah, with ribbons, hot glue, and uh, duct tape, and rubber bands. And there you have it. Voila! Done. Done. All right, it is still Thursday. It's 8.30 at night, and the centerpieces for the luncheon are done. Now, I haven't been working straight since 11 o'clock this morning, but took worked from like 11 to 2, and then I've been working for like the last hour and a half finishing up, and here they are. I don't know why I'm singing that. I'm just so proud of myself. I can't believe that I found this idea on the internet and that it actually worked. So we have some other paraphernalia uh, on the table for the evening party, but there they are. And I, of course, will take pictures and show you them when they are in place on the table. So I just want to show you, and I will, of course, put the link to the tutorial that I followed um, on somebody's blog. So that's it. I'm gonna go sit down on the couch for a little bit because my back is hurting. And if I ever see glue sticks again after this, I may scream. I'm just kidding. And uh, good night. Hey everyone, it's Friday. It's the end of the blog week. It's been hard to film a lot this week because it's been pretty much just kids activities. And y'all know that I, I don't completely keep my kids out of this whole thing, but my older son really doesn't want to be in these. My younger son does, but I, I would prefer to keep them out of this as much as possible. I can't film at their school. I don't want the whole world knowing where my kids go to school and there's other kids there and you have to respect their privacy. So it's been consumed with football activities, back to school activities, bar mitzvah activities. Today I, um, I spent most of the morning working on the table arrangements, like who's sitting where, not arranging things. And that was more complicated than I thought. And hunting down some last minute people who still haven't sent in their RSVPs, shame on you. Um, so that's, it's just, I'm so tired. Like I'm not sleeping at night because they wake up in the middle of the night going, oh, I forgot this. And then I have to write something down. And so I'm excited, I'm happy, it's a happy time. I'm not complaining, but um, I'm beginning to appreciate how much my mom and my then future mother-in-law did to help get my wedding together. Cause I kind of just showed up picked up my dress and showed up. So this is like my turn to plan basically a wedding size event. We are up to 117 kids, 72 adults for the evening party. <laughs> oh my gosh, and I will film some of it um, and put some highlights on. I might just do a bar mitzvah vlog and uh, as much as I can, you know, without showing too many minor children on YouTube. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna, finish doing what I'm doing. Actually, I kind of wanted to show you what I am doing because this is really funny. Except my son is in the shot. You want to move? <laughs> oh, and I also, the highlight of my day, other than paying all the bills to the vendors and meeting with the lighting director to talk about all the special effects and lighting we're doing at the party, was going to my younger son's band concert for his band camp. And they played, are your hands clean? Mm -hmm. They played Cups from Pitch Perfect. It was really cool. But anyway, I'm making my signature dish. I swear to God, I make more than this. But my kids, especially my older son, loves this. I'm just about to add the mozzarella. And I'm gonna add some pesto. And while I'm vlogging, Pour water and I'm, gonna I'm watching Pretty film. Shiny Twitter, Sparkly's you vlog. Tag because several of you guys have tagged me in that I video and I need to do it. She's awesome. If you don't already watch her, um, her name is Christina and she's a blogger and a YouTuber and she's a physician in Houston and she's very smart and she's very talented and she's very funny and did I mention that she's smart? It's just a pleasure to listen to someone who can put their sentences together nicely, better than me. So anyway, I'm gonna sign off. I don't know how much I'm gonna film. I'm so behind. I haven't filmed a single video for next week. I, I, by the time this is up, hopefully I will have. But I apologize, it's a little frenetic. But by the end of August, things will be back on schedule and a little more even. I will look a little less stressed. But until then, hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye. 
I feel like I'm calling out bingo numbers. That's B6. B6. Okay, sorry. Um, winner number three is Martha 